Happy Earth Day to you all. Good Thursday morning. I'm Heather Brown. This is CBSN Minnesota's morning update. So, you know, we're just celebrating the Earth today, celebrating our beautiful planet. And one way we're going to do that <laughs> is to tell you about the weather we have in store for you. Riley tells us this must be Mother Nature celebrating along with us because high of 62 today, going to be the warmest day of the week here. So get on outside today. It starts out a little chilly, but you're not going to need those jackets later on. So let's get right into it. One billion people around the globe are expected to take part in some way today to take care of our planet. A CBS News poll finds that most Americans are concerned about climate change and they want it addressed right away. So two of the things that most Americans would do right now to fight climate change is they say that they would install solar panels and that they would drive less. 64% of Americans say that they would install solar panels in their home. 57% say that they would drive less. A couple of other things. Majority say that they'd be willing to drive less frequently. Most would not, though, go so far as to switch entirely over to public transportation. Most Americans are not willing to pay more for their electricity or their utilities or pay more in taxes. And even fewer, just about 30% there, would stop eating meat. So we'd love to hear from you. What would you do to help the planet to fight climate change? Anything on that list that you can think of? Perhaps you're already doing it now. Maybe you've been doing it for years. Maybe you've been thinking about doing it. What steps have you taken? Um, post right here on our Facebook page. If you're watching, uh, we will read through a couple of those comments in just a moment. Today, family and friends will say goodbye to Dante Wright. His funeral is at noon. It is expected to last about two hours. The services will be held at Shiloh Temple in North Minneapolis. They will be led by Reverend Al Sharpton. We will stream it live right here on CBSN Minnesota. Wright died last week after an officer shot him during a traffic stop in Brooklyn Center. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who now represents the Floyd and Wright families, he is expected to deliver special remarks at today's service and alongside both families, Reverend Al Sharpton, will be sharing the eulogy. Now, the officer who shot Wright has resigned. Prosecutors charge Kim Potter with manslaughter. Police say she mistook her gun for her taser. She goes back to court next month. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is now in Minnesota's most secure prison after being convicted of murdering George Floyd. We got a look at what his cell inside Oak Park Heights prison will look like. We're told that he's been separated from other inmates for his safety. Chauvin will learn his sentence in about eight weeks. Security is ramping down in Minneapolis this morning after the guilty verdict in that murder. Operation Safety Net says that it's sending its officers and its troops home. The fence protecting the Hennepin County Government Center is coming down in the next few days. And while the group is scaling back, they say they are staying ready if needed with weekly meetings and ongoing conversations about the trials for the other three former officers. Now, after the guilty for verdict in George Floyd's death, the U.S. Attorney General launched an investigation into policing in Minneapolis. Now, this will go beyond the Derek Chauvin conviction to investigate what the head of the Justice Department is calling systemic failure. A team of investigators will take a sweeping look at Minneapolis police, their handling of allegations, policies, training, and supervision, among other things. That process is expected to take months. Good news for families who qualify for free school lunches. The Department of Agriculture says that they will keep supporting the free school lunch program through the 2021-2022 school year. Now, they plan to keep the flexible service running to promote social distancing. Schools can also continue offering breakfast and after-school snacks in non-group settings. The USDA says as many as 12 million children may not be getting enough to eat at home during the pandemic. Just a swipe of the palm this is all that some Whole Foods shoppers are going to need now to check out. The supermarket chain is starting to use its parent company's technology called Amazon One. So this associates your credit card with your palm. Then it's coupled with a biometric reader. It's the same technology that Amazon already uses in some of its other brick and mortar stores. Right now, the only Whole Foods using the technology is in Seattle, but the company plans to expand out to about a half a dozen other stores soon. LeVar Burton fans, ah, this is so exciting. Been campaigning on social media to have him host Jeopardy. And yes, it's finally confirmed. The former Reading Rainbow host will be one of the season's final guest hosts. This comes after the death of longtime host Alex Trebek. More than 246,000 people signed an online petition in his support. 
Burton tweeted his fans for their passionate support, adding, you made a difference. Excited to see him. Check out this video. Uh, this is so cute from the Louisville Zoo. Because it's proof that sometimes it's just the simplest things that can provide the most entertainment. And any parent who's given their child a toy knows this all too well. The box is where it's at. And Kindy will show you that. <laughs> Having a great time playing with the box decides that. I'm just going to hop up and take a little trip on uh, my rope right here. And then he decides, okay, you know what? Nah, I'm just going to head back for a swing. But I got this darn box stuck on my head and I'm just having a grand old time out there in Louisville. Thanks, Kindy, for making a smile this morning. Let's head back to today's talker. I'd uh, love to hear what you're saying about Earth Day and things that you're doing or thinking about doing to help protect against climate change. And Bradley says we recycle more than we throw away. I think we need a bigger bin. Uh, Bradley, same here. I wish recycling would come every week to our house because we always seem to be overflowing it there. Brad he also says if we could afford it, I would definitely install solar panels. I would also buy an electric car. Exactly. That is where exactly where I am right now, too. Do we do it? Oh, uh, Jackie says we try to recycle what we can. We use less disposable plastics. Yep, I think a lot of people making that move using the yes of that silverware and plastic bags. Diana, we are part of a solar farm for years. Glad to help the earth. I wonder if Diana, if you're out in Chisago County solar farms, they have some huge ones out there. They are so cool, the technology that they're using to do that. Mary says our airlines consume a lot of fuel, so I will fly much less. A little heart emoji there next to your earth. And Cindy says I already take public transit and I do not drive. I would try to do the solar panels if possible. Thanks everybody for sharing your thoughts and for celebrating Earth Day with us here this morning. This is your morning update from CBS and Minnesota. Hope you have a really great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back here. See you tomorrow.